I mean, everyone did what I did and kept making complaints. Then it might keep the likes of Gary Parr on his toes. But if he got the case, we've been told that she had no symptoms when he did the arrest. He refused to come out. Is she going to kiss me and miss a lot? No, I won't do that. Not something like this. I'm not married to my love yet. I keep thinking that this is more about you. We're latching on to something because something else is missing. What do you mean? It's just... I'm not being funny or anything, but... Well, this going for Dr. Power, is it something you're doing? Cause, well, because you've got a degree, but you've never had a decent job. Because we're in debt and we never have any money. And if it wasn't for your Jackie Payne, we wouldn't have had this nice day out. But I want days like this paid for by us. I'd sooner you have that computer job than putting all your energy into getting it, Dr. Power. What do you say? Hey, 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 be careful with that. Yeah, we're not with I told you, we're staying fussed. Look, I don't want to be bothered. What's going on? Don't worry, don't worry. Stuff's still here. Well, then perhaps you can move it uh, next door, now. We stay rent on this place. We're going nowhere. Hang on a minute. You're my dad's lodger, so you've got to go next door. Don't speak to me like that, madam. Ray and me are staying. That's not possible. And I am not having any lodgers. Either you move next door or you find alternative accommodation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not having this. We paid rent in advance and there's a fortnight still to go. You can have your money back. It's paid and we're entitled. Oh, this is mad. We're entitled. Well, all right, look, I'll pay for hotel accommodation for one night until you get things sorted. But don't you dare try and buy me. Oh, he's always happy taking our money after the fire. And we paid back every penny. That's not the issue. Why is she bringing this up? Look, you are not staying here. Not tonight or any other time. I'm sorry. Let's see about this. I am not leaving here. Jesse, come out, Mom. I'll give you the refund on your rent. I'm actually sure you'll pay for the hotel tonight. Just come on today, will you? This is mad. You're making a fool of yourself, Jess. Let's just go and get a and b You should be standing up for your rights. Never mind giving in to them. Right, I've had enough of this. We stop right now. The your lodger's dad, so until this mess is sorted out, we are staying put next door. But the furniture's been swapped over. Well, the beds haven't, and neither have we. What's up, man? Stop work now. Uh, the move's been suspended. Get it sorted out, Dad. We're going back to work. That's it for today. Please just go away. What am I supposed to do? Tell us when it's sorted. Yeah. At this moment I am. So don't mention another fella. I said don't mention him. Agreed. Just walk a cut in the day out with our best. I don't think we have. Not really. In this to reality, just the three of us. God, yeah, won't it? No dad, no Ray, no Jesse. No bills or snotty letters on the mat. Not to come home to. Yeah, which? I thought that was it. Not to us. Come on. It is. It's okay. Sometimes, sometimes I look around and I think, why can't I be like them? You only see a family in the supermarkets and they're buying everything they can lay their hands on. You look at the stuff in the toilet and you think, they look just like us. Why aren't we like them? Why can't we buy what we want? I mean, where are we going wrong? Haven't they got debts? And then I think it's never going to be like that for us. No, come. You know what? No. Right now. I don't give it to us. Mm-hmm. No. Right now. Neither do I. No. <laughs> You've weeded all over the floor in there. It's disgusting. You class it. I can't help it. You can help it. Can you be more careful, please? Oh, blood and sand. What? Look at this carpet. You've knocked it over. I hope you're not going to behave like this when the child gets here. It's running. I want to go out. I've got to work, haven't I? You know that. You have to date. Can we get the pictures? We can't, love. Can't afford it. You want a good day, then? Yeah! Listen, mate, I was uh, thinking about what you said before. Oh, no, I've had a brilliant day. Maybe I should have kept quiet. Have you missed on the chance of getting that job? Of course I do. But I'm not giving up any complaint, though. I know. You've got enough money left for a stack of birds and chips. Yep. We can even stretch some couple of apple pies and milkshakes. I'm going to have a little sit down, eh? No much back. What's happening? I've been waiting here for hours. Sit down, Mr. Murray. I've missed nearly a day's work here. What's going on? Let's go back to March the 20th. Where were you at 4 o'clock that afternoon? I 
I told you. At a health and safety meeting. Definitely. Yeah, I told you. I've seen the entry in the head teacher's diary, but she tells us it was cancelled until the following week. It didn't take place on March the 20th. So if you were at that meeting at 4 o'clock that afternoon, where were you? I've been looking at your employment records. You worked at St. Wilfred's School in Mossy Lee before you took your present job, late 1998. Yeah. The name of the children in that school? No. Do you recall the name? Jennifer Black. Oh, I don't think so. Jennifer Black was a young pupil at St. Wilfred's School. Two months before you left, she went missing. She hasn't been seen since. Did you know her? Let's talk about your work. What are you trying to say? Calm down. 